Hey guys, Norman coming at you one more time from Angry Lemon Gaming uh, with a first impressions video on Leona, the Radiant Dawn. She is, in my opinion, a full tank. Um, I think that's the best way to play her at the moment right now. Her role that she fills in a team is basically a CC initiator and she, she has a lot of survivability. It's really hard to bring her down. What I have been doing, I've only played, this will be my third custom game, because that's how I like to learn all of her, all new champions' abilities and how to use them, and combos, and what works, what doesn't, item builds that could be useful, things like that. I, I just like to kind of feel the champion out in a custom game. Um, what I've been doing is I've been getting Q first, which is Shield of Daybreak, which causes her first auto attack to stun her target um, and do some magic damage which is just awesome for a tank being able to stun and do a little bit of damage awesome her w ability which is what i max first but i get at level three uh is a bubble that she puts on herself which increases her armor and her magic resist for three seconds after that three seconds it explodes does a ton of aoe damage and if it fall. hits an enemy, it refreshes for another three seconds the the armor and the magic resist prolonged for three seconds. So you can you can keep that up most of the fight um, with 40% cooldown reduction and um, popping that. It should be up for six seconds, and with 40% MR or with CDR, it uh, cuts it down to about a two point four second downtime, which is pretty good for uh it's seventy buff to eight to your MR and to your armor. So that's that's pretty good. That's a lot of damage reduction right there. Her E ability is her gap closer, which is much like an Amumu's bandage tosser, a lot of different skill shots of course. Uh, but in the change on this one is instead of doing damage to or instead of activating a certain ability on the first target it hits, it activates a teleport on the last target it hits, last champion target it hits. So you can throw your E, which I'm gonna do right here, you can throw your E into a champion or into a tank without risk of teleporting to the tank instead of the carry. And there was the explosion from W, which I picked up while I was in the bush, um, which is awesome, awesome damage. Uh, her passive, whenever one of her abilities hits someone, hits a champion, a minion, anything, it puts a, a mark on them, and when an allied champion hits that, that target with a spell, ability, whatever, it, it explodes and does damage to them, to the, the target, of course, and it scales as you level up, so it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Crazy Malphite jumping in there on a turret, I'll jump in there too, I'll follow the roll easy kill there well pretty easy down to 11 health but and what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't try to steal kills from your carries it happens on occasion but try not to take a lot of kills from your carries it's just being a good tank i like to go into a philosopher's stone after i get my boots and three pots to start uh, i go into a philosopher's stone and then i like to build merc treads uh, as my boots because of the additional MR and the uh, CC reduction. Because you are a tank, you need to survive as long as you can. Uh, her ultimate is really tricky to use in some circumstances. What it does is you get a circle on the ground, and what this circle allows you to do is it'll call down a ray from the sky, and this ray stuns anything that's in the central point of it and it will slow anything that's on the outer rings of it so you can pop that down on a team fight and if you get if you're really good placement you could potentially stun a chunk of their team if not their whole team again i used my e there i think it hit both of them and it teleported me to the last one hit which was sivir and I bursted her down with my Q and my explosion from my W. Normally, you probably wouldn't get that kind of burst. 
your team would do, be doing most of the damage, but with playing against bots, it's a little bit different. So you, so you can play these custom games, and they they help you learn the champion's abilities, learn combos, get get kind of used to the the uh, champion. Co-op versus AI games are good for that as well. But custom games, you can make sure that you're gonna be able to play your champion, especially when they're newer. These. That's why I'm kind of screwing around in these. They're not difficult by any means um, against these bots because they're pretty dumb bots. I wish Riot would upgrade the bots so you'd have a little bit of competition when you go into these so you can get a little bit more prepared for what a real game is going to be like. Of course, it's not going to be 100%. Here we're going to use my ultimate to try to burst the two down if not just one. Oh, Annie's gonna push forward. So I'm gonna pop my ultimate right on top of her stunner. Immobilizer. Forgot to hit my W. Again, noobish move because I'm not used to this champion yet because she's fairly new. But I did get the kill, got out of turret range, had to use my flash which is not optimal, a little bit suboptimal, but got out of there with the kill helping my team out. Um, in this case, with a little bit extra gold I have, I'm going to go into a Heart of Gold. Again, gold per five and health. Great things for tanks. Um, you want to try to get her CDR up to 40%. I'm, I usually don't recommend any of the items out of the recommended, or maybe one or two. But in this case, I would recommend getting a Frozen Heart and getting a Randuance. Um, depending on their team, if their team's really AP-based, then go into your... Uh, AP stuff, Banshee's Veil, Force of Nature, that sort of thing. But if they're very AD or very, very physical based, then go into your um, other armor type items because they they reduce damage from everything by so much. And that Randuin's with your W, at, once you max your W, get that up to 70, you can get a lot of um, slow through that Randuin's alone and again that's another CC and I think that's where Leona really shines is through her CC because she has really good CC's and I think she has one of the better uh, gap closers in the game there's gonna be people that argue with me hundred percent but I if not in the game one of the best ones for a tank because she can close the gap on a carry without having to worry about a tank getting in the way And he's probably going to catch me here, but that's alright because I got a kill. Um, shouldn't have dove the tower anyways, it was on Shen, which is a tank. Again, I go for my Merc Treads, and you always want to be buying wards in between these. Um, no one type of character shouldn't buy wards. Carry should try to buy them, uh, support should buy them, tank should buy them, everybody should buy them. Because they're awesome and they can make your team win a game just by themselves Stay at the and like I said you want to try to initiate fights get in there so your team doesn't have to and you if you die you die it's not a huge deal unless you're feeding on purpose or feeding on accident or just being generally terrible um, then that's a problem but if you're just initiating fights and you guys are coming out four for one and you're the only person that dies then mission ex mission accomplished you you want to be the only person that dies and if you don't die during a team fight even better but try to stick it out as long as you can i'm running uh right now i'm running masteries uh 0219 mastery Z yeah 0219 masteries with a point in the teleport tree again it may be suboptimal. She's been out for only a few hours now, and I'm still learning her, as is everybody else that is starting to play her. Um, contrary to popular belief, just because a champion comes out and they somebody may be really good at this game, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be perfect on every champion as soon as they come out. It takes some time to get good on champions. Um, it takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and trial and error um, for a lack of better terms and that's what I'm doing right now is just kind of trying her out testing her out but that's Leona 
the Radiant Dawn. Please give me a comment, suggestions on what to do with her, uh, other other item builds, other masteries, runes, whatever you guys want to leave. Um, any questions on her, I can try to answer them, but again, she hasn't been out very long. So as I learn more about her, I'll relay the information. Um, and please subscribe and like for us, and come to a angrylemongaming.com and participate in our forums, whatever else we got up on there. Um, and you guys have a great day.